Hello, welcome everybody to another online English class with me. Alright everybody, so let's find out what we are going to learn today in this video. So we are still in Get Smart Plus for Unit 7 Helping Out. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at page 72 and 73 from your textbook. And here are the story that we are going to listen to as well as the exercises that we are going to do in this video. So, tanpa membuang masa lagi, jom kita mulakan. So, for today's lesson, the objectives are by the end of the lesson, you should be able to read and answer questions based on the text. And the next objective is you should be able to use possessive pronouns correctly. If you haven't watched the previous video on possessive pronouns, then I will put the link on the screen as well as in the description box down below. Kalau kamu belum tengok lagi video di mana Madam bercerita dan terangkan dengan lebih mendalam tentang possessive pronouns, then kamu boleh tekan link di screen dan juga di dalam ruang deskripsi di bawah. Okay, so first thing first, we are going to look at some vocabulary. The first one, sleeping bag. Next, torch. Torch. Next one, peanuts. Peanuts. Next one, tent. Tent. Now let's move on to the next part of today's lesson. You are going to listen to the story on page 72. I will play the audio for you so listen carefully because we are going to answer some questions after that. Let's listen to the story first. The children are tired from picking up rubbish all day. I picked up 50 bottles. And I picked up 20 cans. Ugh, I'm tired. Let's go to bed. Where's my sleeping bag? Who says this? Is it yours? No, that isn't his. It's mine. And those sleeping bags are ours. Let's help Carlos find his sleeping bag. Mmm, I'm hungry. Where are my peanuts? What's that? Here. Take my torch. Thanks. Whose peanuts are those? They're mine. Hey, look. That sleeping bag's yours, too. It's moving. The squirrels like your sleeping bag, Carlos. I think they like your peanuts, too. <laughs> okay, everybody. So, now, tibalah masanya untuk kita menjawab beberapa soalan Berdasarkan cerita yang kita telah dengar sebentar tadi. Jom kita tengok what are the questions. And you can find these questions in your textbook also on page 73. Question number one. What did the children do all day? Apa yang kanak-kanak itu lakukan sepanjang hari? The answer is... They picked up the rubbish all day. Mereka mengutip sampah sepanjang hari. Question number two. Whose sleeping bag is this? Whose sleeping bag is this? Siapa punya sleeping bag? The answer is... It's Greg's. It's Greg's. Alright, so now let's look at question number three. Whose sleeping bags are these? Whose sleeping bags are these? 
the answer is there Anna's and Sandy's there Anna's and Sandy's next one whose torch is this whose torch is this the answer is it's Greg's it's Greg's and the last question whose peanuts are they whose peanuts are they kepunyaan siapakah kacang-kacang ini so the answer is they're Carlos they're Carlos well done everybody now let's do the next exercise on page 73 so for this exercise what I want you to do is listen to the audio first and then pause the video and try to do the exercise on your own first. Cuba buat latihan tersebut sendiri terlebih dahulu. And then come back over here and we are going to check the answers together. 4. Listen and tick. 1. Which torch is Liz's? Hey Liz, can I have your torch? I can't find mine. Sure, it's over there, next to my sleeping bag. You mean the blue one over there? No, that's not mine. That one's Ben's. What colour is yours? It's blue too, but it's smaller. A small blue torch. Oh, is this it? Yeah, that's mine. 2. Which sleeping bag is Jerry's? Hey Jerry, what are you doing? I'm going to bed. I'm tired. You must be very tired. That sleeping bag isn't yours. Sure it is. My sleeping bag is black and so is this sleeping bag. That sleeping bag isn't black. Here, take my torch. Oh yeah, you're right. It isn't mine. This one is blue. 3. Which tent is Nancy's? Hey Dana, where's Nancy? She's in her tent, I think. Is that red tent hers? Um, yeah, her tent is red. Nancy, Nancy, where are you? Hi there, Eric. This isn't Nancy's tent. It's mine. Sorry, Beth, but Nancy's tent is red too. Yeah, it is, but it's bigger than mine. Nancy's tent is the big red tent over there. Thank you, Beth. Alright, so I hope that you have tried to do the exercise on your own. So now let's discuss exercise 4 from your Get Smart Plus 4 textbook, page 73. Okay, so for question number 1, which torch is Liz? Which torch is Liz? Yang mana satu lampu suluh kepunyaan Liz? The answer is A. Which sleeping bag is Jerry's? Which sleeping bag is Jerry's? So, sleeping bag yang mana satu adalah kepunyaan Jerry? The answer is B. And question number three. Which tent is Nancy's? Which tent is Nancy's? Kemah yang mana satu adalah kepunyaan Nancy. If you say A, then that is the correct answer. Well done. Alright everybody, so I guess that's all the lesson for today. So I guess I will see you in my next video and a little teaser. The next video, I will touch on how to use apostrophe S to show possession. Macam mana nak gunakan 
komma di atas and then S untuk menunjukkan kepunyaan. So watch out for that video. Stay tuned everybody. Before we wrap up the lesson for today, if you haven't yet, kalau kamu belum lagi, do click on the subscribe button down below dan juga butang loceng untuk mendapat update bila Madam Zeti upload video yang baru di channel ini. And kalau video ini menarik dan membantu kamu dalam menyelesaikan latihan di muka surat 73 from your Get Smart Plus for textbook, then consider giving it a thumbs up. And also share it with all of your friends. And I guess I'll see you again in my next lesson video. But for now, everybody, goodbye and assalamualaikum. Take care, stay safe and stay home. Bye-bye.